What is going on guys, Sir Lewis here and I'm bringing you guys this video because I particularly used Camtasia Studios, this video editor as you guys can see right here when I started YouTube as a beginner and I loved it. It was simple, easy and to the point and the best part was I didn't need a powerful computer to use this video editor. My PC back then was really, really slow and I was able to use this editor to edit my videos. I honestly recommend it to anybody that's getting into YouTube and video editing because you'll learn so, so fast and later on you'll be able to transition to a better video editor when you get a better PC and you understand all the simple things of video editing. Now to get Camtasia, just go on YouTube and search how to get Camtasia. There's a lot of videos and you'll learn how to get it. And then after you guys get Camtasia, in this video, I'm going to show you guys here right here right now the all you need to know tips and tricks on how to use Camtasia for a beginner. All right. And then as you get better and better, you'll learn the fancy smancy effects and features and all that stuff. But I'm going to show you guys here the tips and tricks, all you need to know for beginners and yeah let me stop beating around the bush get out of here bush and let's get started all right so after you guys click Camtasia you're gonna see this do not be overwhelmed okay I'm gonna make it easier for you guys to learn by zooming in the video and showing you guys pictures so it could be easier for you guys to learn and then understand how to use Camtasia so here at the top you guys will see these three options record the screen import media and produce and share now record the screen basically you guys can record your computer screen and even use a face cam if you guys have a face cam to play like games or do like any type of video on your computer so camtasia actually has this feature which is awesome and produce and share which i'm going to show you guys later you basically click on it to render the video after you guys are done editing the video now import media is the one that you guys are going to use the most and you guys are going to use this to import videos pictures audio basically anything you guys want to use in your video so let's click on it right now and now you guys just want to go to the file that has your video so i'm gonna click on my video right here then you go over here and click open and you should see your video right here okay now after you guys have your video you guys want to drag and drop your video over here where it says track one and after you drag and drop it you will see the audio wavelength right over here and your video right here and then you guys can click play and you will see your video playing right there in the screen now i'm gonna show you guys here some really important tips on using your keyboard okay which is vital which is very important because i use my keyboard to edit all the time all the shortcuts and i'm gonna show you guys the most important ones so as you guys can see right here at the top you can zoom in and zoom in by scrolling this but you guys don't need to go here all the time you guys can use your keyboard and just press the plus and the subtract sign right here to, to zoom in and zoom out so you guys don't need to use this all the time you guys can just use your keyboard the plus and subtract sign now this next keyboard shortcut is very important is the one that you're going to use the probably the most the one that i use the most which is split you guys are going to use split a lot because you might mess up and you want to edit that part out so how do you split your video press s guys just press s look at that you guys will see it just splits and then maybe i want to remove this section so right here i want to remove this part right over here so then I just press split and you guys will see it's split into three different pieces and then let's say i want to delete this part you just press delete on your keyboard that and bada bing bada boom it's gone and you guys can see right there I deleted the part where I made a mistake. And that's really, really important. Probably the best tool you can use in video editing. Now let's say you guys maybe deleted something by accident or did a silly mistake here in your video editor. You guys can just go over here to the undo button. Just click that, undo, do again. And you guys can see it's back. And you could even press it again to put them back together. And if you guys don't wanna go over here and use the undo button, you guys can go on your keyboard and press Control Z. And you guys just press it again. And that's basically the undo button, Control Z. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to add other media to your video, like photos and audio. So just go over here where it says import media again, click on that. And for music, for audio, you guys are gonna wanna go to your audio folder, click open, and you guys should see the audio right over here. You just drag and drop again, right over here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to edit the audio and blow it down so you could hear your voice on top of the audio. So, so basically you just right click and press edit audio. And you guys can see right this bar right here, you just drop it, it's at 100 right now. And you guys can see it's saying 72, 67. You just drop it to 50 or whatever amount of level that you guys want it. And you guys could even over here add a fade in. Okay, so fade in, as you guys can see right here, it fades in and you could edit that right there you can make it longer or really short and you guys can also add a fade out at the end right over here okay so now we know how to add audio now i'm gonna show you guys how to add photos because you guys might want to add a photo or something so you guys just go to import media again go to wherever you guys have the photo that you guys want to add right here in this case it'll be this emoji 
and then you just drag and drop again to wherever you guys want to add that photo so in my case it'll be right here what i love about camtasia is that it's so simple you guys can look you could resize the the photo right here you could rotate it by doing this and you could put it basically anywhere and here at the bottom you guys can make it longer so it could be here for a longer period of time or you can make it really short also add a transition to your video clips and pictures so in this case i'm going to add a transition to my pictures but you can also do it to videos so all you got to do is go right here to where it says transitions and then you pick the one that you guys like i'm going to use this one that's like a glow so you just drag and drop so you guys can see you can add it to these video clips but in this case i'm going to add it to this photo Photo. so you just drag and drop click it right there either the beginning or the end and then you can even make it longer by going like that okay and let's watch it right now so it's a glow transition so it's gonna glow so let's look at it so you guys can see right there I actually made it longer so it glows for a little longer and then look at that perfect and there's so many transitions here that you guys can use that it just makes the video a lot more unique and really really cool and then after you guys are done editing all you guys want to do is zoom out as you guys can see right here and you guys see this little green thing right here you just click that drag it all to the beginning and then the red thing you drag it all the way to the end of the video just like that and now you guys want to go to the the section right here where it says produce and share click that and now this is actually very very important to render the best way the best quality possible so you click right over here and instead of this it's gonna have this as a default you guys want to click mp4 only up to 1080p that's the one that you guys want for the best quality all right and then you guys just click next all right and then here you guys are just gonna title your video you know how to whatever or whatever type of video you guys are making and then here you click the folder that you guys want your video to go to so you know exactly where it's at after it's done rendering and then you just click save and then right here you guys can uncheck this and uncheck that and then just press finish and it should start rendering and then after it renders you guys are basically done and ready to upload your video to youtube and yeah there you guys go this is all you need to know tips and tricks on how to use camtasia and i hope you guys like it if you guys want a more specific type of tutorial for camtasia just let me know in the comments below and i'll probably make it and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love all of you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace